<laughs> Welcome. My name is Alan, and we are here today. We're going to do some more. Bushido. Way of the Samurai. We are starting on book three today. See if I can scoot this back a little bit. Sorry for the stain on my shirt. I'm a bit of a messy eater. Had a doctor's appointment, stopped and got me a small burger and fries, and did a bit of it. Whip. Bloop. All right, ready? Ready? No, no other drippage from it. But it. Okay, I see your game. Anyway, mm. give me a moment. I'm looking through. Well, we'll just read book three since it's like that. <laughs> book three, <laughs> collapsing house, is the name of this section. Now Shige, the founder of the Nabashima clan, spoke to his grandson, Moto Shige. Whether it is high or low, the house and the clan will collapse when its time comes. At that moment, if you resist the course, a foul collapse will result. If you are aware that the time has come, you had better let your house crumble without hesitation. On the other hand, if you have this foresight, you might be able to build your house back or hold your house back in your arms. And so with that, I think he's kind of just like any building or any organization you need to maintain them. You need maintenance. Because if you do not, you either must be willing to let them just crumble away. Because if you try to fix them and there's been no upkeep, it could be really bad. Next section is Story of the Thwarted Ghosts. After an investigation, now Shige put to death the samurai and the woman who committed secret intercourse on the third circle, in the third circle of the castle. Later, their ghosts walked by night within the castle. The maid servants were so scared that they did not dare to leave their rooms at night. Some time passed before the lady now Shige heard of the haunting. Then she asked someone to pray for exorcism and to celebrate a mass for the repose 
of the dead souls. Let all of those, all of these efforts, or yet all these efforts, proved to no purpose. So the matter was finally reported to Lord Naoshige himself. Lord Naoshige said, I am extremely glad of this. They deserve more than just decapitation. I hold their sin so exec execrable, execrable, there we go, <laughs> that I am glad that they cannot go where they should have gone, but still have to haunt in ghost forms. I am very pleased that they still suffer for their misconduct and remain restless. It is, indeed, quite understandable that they have haunted this long. From that night on, the ghosts stopped appearing. And I feel it, it's almost like some people feel death's too simple a punishment for some people for their actions. And I, I kind of get, I think that's where our author, uh, Tomo Yamamoto, is getting to. Is that uh, the Lord Naoshige felt death was too easy a punishment. And it is glad that they were to suffer more. But yeah. That's all I can really get out of that. I, I have no other lessons I can really think of. But yeah. That was it. We're now at book four. <laughs> so I am going to stop there. Like I told you, the last chapter, we're getting to these books that are quick. Because it took us over half the thing to do uh, two books. Just looking ahead here. Book seven is of a little bit in length. Book eight. Book eight is of a little length. Book 9 is a quick one, book 10 is a quick one, and then finally book 11. And book 11 is of a little length. So, yeah, that's about what we got left. Like I said, uh, book 4, 5, 6 seemed to be fairly quick. So, they were like uh, book 3 here. So, we'll have some quick episodes the next few so but yeah that'll be all for now I'll see you in the next episode as always though educate thyself think read study learn I almost forgot my tagline here if anyone tries to tell you something you have trouble believing Ask them to cite their sources. See you in the next episode. Until then. Later.